Whether you are here for a workshop or a cooking demonstration, get ready to experience a fun, interactive, and educational session. This evening, you will get nutritional tools and cooking tips for you and your family on how to enjoy the holiday season while maintaining your wellness goals. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, and thank you for joining us for our Healthy Holiday Nutrition Series. My name is Julia Demery, and I'm a Health and Wellness Specialist with the Department of Parks and Recreation. Before we begin, we're going to go over a few housekeeping items. You should see a microphone icon at the bottom of your screen, like you see here on the screen. You will need to click this icon to mute yourself. We ask that you remain muted to limit any distractions throughout the program. Next, I'd like to draw your attention to the camera icon. You will see this. Use this to turn your camera off and on. Please be mindful that when your camera is on, all participants joining us this evening will be able to see your screen. You have the option to keep your camera on or turn it off, but remember we wanna minimize distractions throughout the program and keep the focus on the presenter. Next, Savannah, can you go to the next slide? Next slide. There we go. I'd like to show you how to pin a participant. To do this, you'll need to click on show participants on the show participant icon. In the participants column, select the individual you'd like to view on your screen and then click or tap the three dots to reveal a menu. From the drop down menu, select pin for me. The pin participant becomes the focus in your view and only your view, regardless of the speaker. To unpin, repeat this, these three steps and select unpin. Repeat the same process to pin an additional participant. Please note that if you're joining us through a web browser, the PowerPoint presentation will be in a smaller window at the top or bottom of your screen. Next, I'd like to draw your attention to a new Teams feature called closed captioning. To turn on closed captioning, you will click on the three dots for more options. Then you can scroll down to find the option that says turn on live captions. Then you will start to see captions at the bottom of your screen. You may choose to turn on this feature if needed. The last icon I'd like to tell you about is the chat icon. This will allow you to ask questions throughout the program. To type a question, you will click on the icon like you see on the screen to bring up the chat box, and it should take you to what you see next. Once you see the chat box, as you see here, there will be a space for you to type your questions in. Hit enter and we will see your question on the screen. Please ask your questions throughout the program and there will be time at the end for additional question and answers. We are looking forward to a great discussion. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Melanie Burdick. Melanie Burdick is a registered dietitian, licensed dietitian nutritionist, certified diabetes care and education specialist, certified specialist in obesity and weight management, and a certified personal trainer. She holds a bachelor's of science in dietetics from Eastern Michigan University and a master's in science and applied nutrition from the University of New England. Melanie believes in practical steps to improving health and wellness where no foods are off limits, which I love around <laughs> Thanksgiving. Welcome, Thank Melanie. Savannah. Thank you, Savannah. Welcome, everyone. And what I'm going to do here while we switch screens. One moment. I'm sharing my screen. Uh, good evening, everyone. It is the week of Turkey Day. I hope everyone's having a great week and uh, are looking forward to a wonderful holiday. And get all my ducks in a row here. All right, team. It's uploading. There we go. Awesome. So tonight we are going to talk about how we can get more produce into our day. So I have to know, let me uh, know in the chat, what are some of your favorite vegetables? Uh, do you have a hard time getting veggies in? Um, how do you like to cook them? Let me know some of your favorite ways to use your vegetables as well. Kind of get a gauge on where everyone's at with their veggies uh, and their produce uh, tonight. Let me know, corn, all right, perfect, perfect. Let's see here. Um, roasted vegetables, Julia, I am with you. Roasted vegetables are my number one go-to. Lettuce, salad greens, sweet potatoes, excellent. Me too, I'm very excited for Thursday and my sweet potatoes. Lettuce. Yeah, so there's lots of wonderful options for our produce. Today, I'm going to show you some easy ways on you, how you can add them in. And I'll even give you some suggestions how to add some more veggies to your Thanksgiving uh, table. So one of the reasons, you know, there are so many wonderful reasons to have 
produce. You know, every time you walk into a giant location, you are going to see all of those wonderful produce items right as you walk into the door. And it's very beautiful and uplifting. And so not only is it appealing, but our fruits and vegetables are a wonderful resource of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and phytonutrients. And so these are these disease fighters. And there's a great deal of research about the more produce that we put into our diet, that can help lower the risk of a variety of different chronic diseases, cardiovascular disease, different types of breast cancer, diabetes. And so there's really this power when it comes to produce. Now, along with uh, you know, all of those wonderful vitamins and minerals, Fruits and veggies are a wonderful source of dietary fiber, and we all know how great fiber is for us. Fiber is what fills us up uh, between meals. It also helps slow down digestion, and it's also great if you are managing your blood sugar levels. So it takes longer to digest, and so that's going to keep that nice balanced uh, trend with your glucose levels. And then, of course, it gives a little bit of color to your plate. Nothing like the pops of red or blue or green. And so when we're thinking about Thanksgiving, the more veggies that you have on the table, the more color and variety that you're going to get. Now, if you look at the bottom of the screen on the left-hand side, you're going to see that Guiding Stars logo. And Guiding Stars is our nutritional rating program at Giant. And so what it does, it looks at the nutrition facts labels of all of the different products that are on the shelves. And this includes the nutrition information from fruits and vegetables. But uh, we know that fruits and vegetables, since they're so nutritionally dense, they are going to get the highest rating. So all of the produce items that you see here or that you see in the produce area, those actually receive three guiding star ratings. So one, two, or three are the uh, available ratings. Three stars means the most nutritionally dense. So this is a easy way to get some better for you items on your plate. Now, while I'm talking about guiding stars, we actually have an incentive at Giant. So if you are part of our flexible rewards program with your Giant bonus card, the more items that you purchase with guiding star logos, guiding star ratings, the more points you'll receive. So. The more items that you purchase, the more uh, more items that you purchase, the more points that you can take off at the register. So a really easy way uh, and a good incentive to eat more veggies uh, at your meals. So the next question, when we think about fruits and vegetables, we know that they are wonderfully dense. They we know that these are great options. But the next question is, how much should we get now? There are different recommendations depending on age, um, but we can use the USDA My Plate as a great starting place. So when we, ha we have this icon on the screen here, you can see that it's divided into five categories. So we've got half of our plate, fruits and vegetables. And then we have the other section of our plate, grains and lean proteins and then dairy products. So when you think about your plate, we want to aim for half of our plate to be produce. So that's one, an easy method that you can follow while you're making your meals. Now, the bare minimum that is recommended by the USDA, at least two cups of fruit per day. And a cup of fruit would be something that's about the size of a baseball. If you were to dice up a fruit or a vegetable, whatever fits in that one cup measuring cup is a serving. So at least two cups of fruit and two and a half cups of vegetables, but more the merrier with more servings. And so you can see here, here is a call out on a, a, a visual of a, a real plate. And you can see here that it's filled with grains, protein, and then a half plate of those wonderful vegetables. Now, a question that I get frequently, which form is the best form to pick? Now, I'm sure we all have our preference. And if you do, let me know in the chat and uh, we can see what the going trend is with our participants tonight. Anyone have a preference when it comes to fresh, frozen, or canned? Let me know. So I like to choose a variety of different types. All forms can fit. Nutritionally, they are all great options. Frozen vegetables, 
they are picked and flash frozen right at that peak of freshness and don't have any added salt. And they're great and have a long shelf life. And of course, our canned items are great. We can purchase them with no added salt. And that's even a better incentive as well, too. So let's see here. So Savannah likes frozen for convenience, uh, fresh depending on what it is, no problem. So let's talk about that frozen, those frozen and canned items just for a second. I'm just, and I'm going to pause here just a second. Just want to make sure that everyone is muted in the background. Thank you. So what I love about frozen and canned, and this is a great option when you're thinking about your Thanksgiving meal. These can be very versatile options that aren't going to break the bank. And so if you're picking up some canned vegetables or frozen vegetables this week, this is great. We want to make sure if you have any canned items, take a look at that nutrition facts label and see if it has any added sodium. If it does, you can rinse that and that'll take about 40% of the sodium off that product. Flash frozen vegetables are great. There's going to be no added salt. Now with frozen vegetables, sometimes there can be a sauce or additional ingredients. So you do want to take a close look at that ingredients list just to be sure. And what I love is that these are cost, uh, budget friendly, low cost, and have a long shelf life. So we can keep our canned goods in the pantry for several months, and we can pull out those frozen vegetables whenever we need. And so a great way to use your frozen vegetables, if you're looking for a new way to jazz them up, you can actually roast your frozen vegetables straight out of the bag from the freezer. And this is a great way to add texture and that caramelization to your items. And it sounds like roasted vegetables are pretty popular uh, with the participants tonight too. So these are wonderful options. Now, there is a lot of things that you can choose from when you're in the produce section at Giant. So here are just a few of many items that you could pick up, a bag salad kit, frozen cauliflower, or a stir fry mix. And even if you're thinking about, uh, what do I bring for Thanksgiving, the, the get together, maybe a veggie tray or a fruit platter as well. So those are great options. Other things, you can also buy the crinkle cut veggies that are also available. Oop, and I'm just gonna pause here. Oh, I made it, my screen changed on me. I think it'll come back. There we go. Um, you could also buy the crinkle cut prepped veggies. So if you don't feel like dicing any veggies for Thanksgiving, you can pick them up right in the produce area. We have sliced butternut squash, uh, zucchini, uh, acorn squash all ready to go. So definitely an easy way to get those veggies on your plate. Now you can also pick up things that can go into the microwave like the nourish bowls or arc foods, they actually make a vegan cauliflower mac and cheese. The cheese is actually made from cashews. Um, but you can't go wrong too with a bagged salad kit. This is one of my go-tos. It has all of the toppings and the dressing right in the bag. All you have to do is add a protein. Now, there are some great ways to use some of our produce items in a new way. So maybe it's using frozen cauliflower and making a cauliflower pizza crust or making cauliflower mashed potatoes. And if you take that uh, pizza crust, add on all your favorite vegetables, spinach, mushrooms, peppers, all of these great items, more volume, more color, and a, a great array of nutrients. Now, other things that you could do, maybe instead of pasta for dinner, maybe you use a butter or a spaghetti squash or uh, spiralized zucchini. These are great to have those veggie noodles instead of the pasta. And then also too, you could do like a veggie burger with those veggie crinkle cut fries. One of my favorites is a black bean burger. Uh, you can buy them already prepared, but if you make them at home from scratch, you can really control that sodium. And then other things, kale chips. Kale is in season right now, so it's plentiful and, and expensive. And so you can take your leaves of kale and sprinkle on your favorite olive oil, your spices, and roast them in the oven for some great uh, are kale chips if you like something crunchy. All Melanie, right. Really quickly. Oh, yeah. We have um, a question in the chat. Sure. With frozen veggies for roasting, do you need to thaw them first? You don't have to. You can take them right out of the bag, put them right on the cookie sheet. You can coat them in your favorite cooking oil, sprinkle your seasonings, and then roast 
uh, depending on your preference, uh, 400 degrees for half an hour, and they turn out great. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm sorry, I missed that uh, question in the chat. Yeah, that's how I do it at my house, and it comes out great every time. You can also use an air fryer as well, too. Nice. Great. So, Thanks. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And so when we think about veggies, we want to try to incorporate them at every meal if we can. So every lunch, every breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snack. Again, more the merrier. And so when we think about ways to incorporate these items in our meals, let's start with breakfast. Of course, uh, a smoothie is an easy way to pack in those wonderful veggies. And this is also an opportunity for people that really struggle to get their produce. And they say, I know I need two and a half cups of veggies and two cups of fruit a day at least, but I'm really having a hard time. So you could take something like spinach, strawberries with a protein, and that's a great combination. Also, if we have any egg fans, throw in your favorite uh, cheese and your favorite vegetables. One of my favorite things to do here, you can see these wonderful egg cups. So you can make these in the bite size, uh, little mini muffin pans or the larger muffin pans. And these are great. You can add in mushrooms, peppers, uh, anything that you like, and you have portion size of breakfast items with those vegetables as well. I also like to take a pan and make a frittata the same way, just you cut it into slices instead. But these are really versatile and easy way to squeeze in those veggies. So this would actually be a great breakfast idea. If you have any guests coming over for Thanksgiving, you can make these ahead of time and then warm them up. Maybe if you're having uh, uh, breakfast on Thanksgiving morning. All right, now for lunch, again, you can take any of your leftover veggies from the night before. So maybe you did roasted vegetables for dinner. There's a lot of ways that you can use them. One of the things that I love to do, I love to take some wrap, whether a tortilla or maybe a flat out bread. I love to add some hummus or any other condiment and throw in my roasted vegetables along maybe some cheese, maybe some lettuce greens as well. You have a great meal and it's pretty effortless. And then of course you can't go wrong with having a salad with a protein, whether it's you make, you make your own salad or use a bag salad kit. And then you could add in a whole wheat pita, um, some crackers and some protein options as well. Now we're also seeing a really big trend in prepared meals that have more veggies in them. So if you're looking for a quick lunch idea, maybe you need something quick for, um, for a meal at work, there are microwave meals available. Amy's, even Lean Cuisine that are lower in sodium, but pack a lot of veggies at the same time. And here is a great visual that we have. We know that salads are probably the go-to for a lot of people when you think about your veggies. And so here is a great reference. And so we can build a better salad. So what you can do is you can pick your base, whether it's veggies and grains, you can add a protein, and then you can pile on all of your different colors, your veggies, your fruit, dried fruit, and really have just a beautiful meal. So here you can see we have avocados, tomatoes, uh, and spinach. And then you can also drizzle on your favorite dressing. Now, often, you know, dressings are you know, go along with our vegetables, but we can make our own homemade dressings at home if we're really concerned about the sodium um, in them. So whether you like to do a creamy or a vinaigrette, just mix your favorite olive oil with a vinegar, add in some spices, and you've got a great dressing with minimal salt. And then dinner ideas as well. I know we're always looking for things to have for dinner. So one great trend that we're seeing right now are sheet pan meals. So you cook everything right on the same cookie sheet. It couldn't be easier. So you can roast your vegetables. You could also put on your lean protein as well. So it could be chicken fillet, chicken uh, breast or fish fillets, easy, easy. You could also do something like shrimp as well. And you can see we have lots of different ideas on the screen. We could do a stir fry with shrimp and fresh or frozen veggies, and then pair in some brown rice. You've got a complete meal ready to go. And it's soup season, it's chili season. This is a great way to get in many, many uh, varieties of veggies. So chili is a great option. Lean turkey, beans, corn, or quinoa. Gosh, you could even make a three bean soup or a vegetable soup with frozen or canned uh, beans and veggies, and you're good to go. So lots of ways to squeeze in those veggies. 
And then here are some great examples. So Thanksgiving is just a couple of days away. And so we want to think about adding that color to our, uh, our wonderful array of goodies. And so here are some wonderful options. Uh, these are right from our Savory Magazine. And I have to say that the roasted Brussels sprouts at the bottom uh, left-hand side of the screen here is superb. I made this last year and it is so tasty. So it has sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts with raisins. It is Excellent. I highly recommend other things, a healthier version of a green bean casserole, and then, of course, a corn squash. And you can see here that each of these recipes have Guiding Star ratings. So we know that these recipes are lower in sodium, lower in fat, and filled with nutrients. Now, I know that there was a question in the chat, a slide about guiding stars. I can actually, I can bring up a slide when we're done um, and we can highlight a little bit more of the program about guiding stars, no problem. And then some other inspiration as well. So again, if you are looking for ways to add more color, there are so many uh, veggie options available. And I have to say that the other day I was speaking with one of my coworkers and she was talking about her roasted Brussels sprouts. So they were so good. And she said they were so good. They seemed like they were uh, kind of uh, not healthy for her, but that, that could be far from the truth. So if you're looking for something tasty, it could be roasted butternut squash, it could be a wonderful salad, or the roasted Brussels sprouts, or maybe you're looking for an appetizer for this week, or maybe some other parties, making your own hummus, and of course, incorporating those produce items that are readily available, pomegranates. So some great ways, again, you can have some wonderfully uh, decadent side dishes, and they can be produce-based. Now, another question that we get frequently is what should I have for a snack? Now, as I mentioned earlier, we want to try to incorporate fruits and vegetables with each eating opportunity, so every meal and snack. And so a great combination that we can do is pair some type of protein with some type of fiber, complex carbohydrates. And so what we can do, we could pair a little bit, uh, we could pair uh, veggie sticks, with a little bit of hummus. We could have cheese and crackers uh, with sliced tomatoes. We can add vegetables in sliced cucumbers, carrots, you name it. Maybe it's a banana with peanut butter. That would be a great combination as well. Or maybe it's an apple with nuts. So again, we have that energy, those wonderful vitamins and minerals from our produce, then also that staying power of that protein. And you can see here, we've got these fun little uh, holiday uh, appetizers that you can make with mozzarella cheese, mint, and the, uh, little cherry tomatoes. It's very festive for the holidays. But a really great way, again, to get in all your produce items um, and meet your needs for the day. And I see we have a question. Let me see here. Can we have too many almonds or walnuts per day? It is easy to have a, a, a larger serving of those items. The serving size for nuts is about a quarter cup. So if you envision the top of a peanut container, that lid is roughly a quarter cup serving. Um, they, the calories in nuts can add up really quickly. So we do want to be careful. So yes, we can have uh, too many, uh, depending on what our portion sizes are. So it's just, just be mindful about how much you use. But a great addition to a salad or a snack, if you're looking for a nice snack, trail mix is always a great option. But it's, uh, it's easy to munch on, uh, <laughs> on, on our nuts, and it's easy to um, go uh, overboard with the portion size. Awesome. Well, before we get into any additional questions, just a little bit more about what we offer at Giant. Again, all the services that we provide uh, as part of the Healthy Living Team are completely free of charge. So you can actually take your camera out, you can scan the QR code, and this will take you directly to our website. So you can uh, learn more about our consultations. If you're saying, you know, I'm really struggling getting my produce in, we can help you. We can walk through the store uh, for a guided tour and help you find items that meet your needs. We're also on Facebook and TikTok. Uh, so if anyone's on social media, this is a great outlet to get some tips and tricks about incorporating more produce into your meals. 
And then of course we have our Healthy Living by Giant podcast as well uh, that highlights new products that are in store. Uh, we have a library of over 100 episodes. So there's truly something for, for everyone. And then also too, I know where this is the week of Thanksgiving. I know we're gonna, we still have a few weeks away, but I do wanna put a, put a shout out for our upcoming program in January. It's called a healthier together. It's a five week series. Uh, we're going to be talking about things like food is medicine, uh, organizing and planning our meals and really how do we balance our plate. These are uh, this program is going to be available both in the morning at 10 a.m. and in the evening at 7 p.m. Um, and starts on January 17th. So if you're interested, you can scan the, uh, the QR code and that'll take you right to the website for more details. So. I'll get you thinking about the new year and any health uh, goals that you might have. And here we have our Healthy Living at Giant Foods. This is a great way to get in touch with us. So feel free to email us at any time. And I actually, I check this email. So you'll be hearing from me. I'm happy to assist in any way. Um, and so with that, let's see if we have any uh, anything in the chat that I might have missed. And I know, Dee, I, what I can do here, I will stop my share here momentarily, and I can, I will bring up uh, some information about guiding stars for you, and we can talk a little bit more about that. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna share my screen here. So I want to answer your question, Dee. So the Guiding Stars program, and this is right on our website at giantfood.com. This is an evidence-based program. And so it analyzes those uh, nutrition labels. And again, it provides the rating of one, two, or three guiding stars. So produce is an easy one because it gives you three stars. Um, but as you're shopping, you'll see this logo on the shelf tag uh, right below the price. And so it's a really good way to pair products in the store and find items that meet your needs, but then also um, are uh, a little bit better for you as well. So this all lots of information right on our website. And again, this is a visual of what you will see on those shelf tags. Perfect. So. Oh yeah, no problem. And guidingstars.com is the website. If you wanna learn more, uh, that is a great, great resource. Right. Well, I hope everyone feels inspired about getting more fruits and vegetables into their day. And uh, let me know if anything stood out to you. What would be the easiest way to add in more produce to your day? Let's hear from one person. Well, I'll share. And then if other people awesome. want to jump yeah, in. Go ahead. Um, uh, the frozen veggies, to me, that's always been a barrier of like uh, frozen corn. I can put in stuff. I know how to throw mm -hmm. that into <laughs> chili and those sorts of things. But yeah, the roasting of frozen vegetables, that is, that's a new one for me. I'm going to try and do that. I get nervous yeah. that they're wet and that they won't turn out okay. They are excellent. This is what, this is, this is my go-to in uh, my house. I pick up a bag. It's the Normandy medley um, or the giant, um, cauliflower, carrots, and broccoli medley. I buy the family size pack every week. I pour a little bit out, put the rest in the freezer, and then I'll add in some canned beans. Uh, if I have anything else like tofu, I'll throw that on the cookie sheet, mix it with olive oil, pop it in the oven, and it turns out fabulous. And it couldn't make uh, your life easier, especially having a, a young one. So it yeah. is a great way to add, have a large batch of vegetables and one one uh one time cook once eat multiple times i'm all about that <laughs> yeah yeah give it a try and even too this is something that if you're looking for a side dish for thanksgiving pull out those frozen vegetables you can really transform them with your different spices they are excellent and generally speaking i know d is asking how many minutes depending on how you prefer to have them i like mine a little crunchy so the longer that you keep them in the oven they will caramelize um so i would say anywhere from about 40 to 50 minutes depending on how much you're cooking sometimes i fill the tray a little bit too much and so it takes a little bit longer and i also um will um 
uh, mix them halfway through. Nice. Uh, and let's see, you see Bonnie makes smoothies. Uh, perfect. Greens as a base and build from there. Absolutely. Sky's the limit. Great. Perfect. And All it looks right. like you're going to be doing a demonstration on sweet potato hash and yams. So perfect. This is a perfect discussion. Yes, yes. Well, if anyone has any more questions, we are here. Yeah. We do still have some time, but if not, I will wrap us up as we get ready for cooking and celebrating this week. Um, thank you so much for attending this evening. We would love your feedback. Please complete um, a survey that will get sent out to your emails after this presentation is over to be entered into winning a drawing for a health and wellness gift bag. Uh, you can also ask for program recordings if you email wellness at pgparks.com. And then we have some really exciting other sessions coming your way. So uh, next week or next week, yeah, next week, craziness, the 29th, please join us for a healthy holiday party beverages from 6 to 7 p.m. Um, and that will be with our Chef Roz. And Chef Roz will also be doing in-person cooking demonstrations at the Southern Area Aquatic and Recreation Complex in Brandywine. Um, she is doing one on sweet potato hash and yummy yams on November 30th from 6 to 7, and that is in person. And you can register at pgparksdirect.com. Thank you all so much. We've enjoyed all these sessions and looking forward to finishing out the rest of our holiday series with you soon. Happy Thanksgiving! Thank you for joining us for this virtual healthy holiday nutrition series. For more videos to help you make healthier choices, visit the Department of Parks and Recreation's online resource center at pgparks.com or the Health and Wellness Virtual Library at wellness.pgparks.com. Until next time, be healthy, be well.